<laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Thank you very much, Dan. Uh, so we've got some spectators back at Sport. Uh, and we also have lots of people waiting for live music to come back. So tonight we have sent our reporter, Lindsay Doyle, to Albert Shed in Shrewsbury, which is gearing up for its first event tonight. First, in fact, for 14 months. So how is it all going to work, Lindsay? Well, very well, I think, Becky. I mean, I'm sitting here at the bar, which is fully screened, and it is all table service here tonight. Now, normally the venue expects around 350 punters standing or dancing in front of the band. Tonight, they're looking at around 100 who will all be seated. Now, it's been a really tough year for the venue, like many other venues across our region. They've had to make some members of staff redundant. Another 25 were furloughed. Now, they are desperate to get back to work tonight. We've been here this afternoon watching the rehearsals ahead of this very special night, the first live band at Albert Shed since the day the music died. For three years, Albert Shed has been at the heart of the Shrewsbury music scene. Lockdown brought down the shutters and the venue fell silent for the first time. It's very, very different to what we normally do. We're used to letting um, literally hundreds of people in and they all jump up and down in front of the stage and have a really good time. Um, we've now got a venue which is 100% seated. It's very limited capacity. Uh, there's lots of rules and regulations that we've got to follow. So that's where the, uh, that's where the nerves come in. A second branch of Albert Shed in Telford opened briefly last year, but then, of course, it was locked down again. At first, I think the shock was, was a very real one. You know, we're all stuck in, in, our, in our living rooms, essentially, just waiting for things to get better and, uh, you know, to be at the end of this 14-month period where things are finally starting to open up. It's, it's a godsend for everyone in the industry, I think. The Music Venue Trust has carried out a survey which shows the full extent to which grassroots music venues in England are planning to reopen their doors, based on the timeline laid out by the government. I think we're organised and we have a great relationship with, uh, with our members and, you know, over the year we've built up really strong relationships with those venues. So I think we're in a really good position now to sort of guide them towards best practice and being able to kind of reopen safely. More than 2,500 socially distant shows are already on sale in 266 venues. For staff here, it's been hard work getting the venue ready for tonight, creating seating areas that weren't here before. And there's nerves tonight for the musicians, as they haven't been able to rehearse together for 14 months. Local band Sonic Boom may tonight get the most rapturous welcome of their careers so far. Lindsay Doyle, BBC Midlands Today, Shrewsbury. Oh, it's nice to see live music back now. It's been a wet and windy day.